Hi. And we're back. And I'm going to use some Elmer's glue and some of my jelly plate prints that I shared with you. I have another container. Look at this one's from Crisco and I'm gonna put glue in it. So I ripped some of my pieces and what'll happen is these will kind of blend in. So I'm gonna put some on. I'm thinking like here might be a nice place for one. And then I wanna put one here to, to tie these two images together here and here. Maybe there. So yeah, I'm gonna start with those. Let's start with this one. I'm just gonna do the same thing, put the glue underneath. Now I didn't put any glue over the last paint that I added, but it's acrylic and so when it dried, it dried permanently. Those paint markers, the daubers that I was using, they dry permanently. So there's no reactivating any of that acrylic paint. And then I'll add this one here. And then this one. The most fun part about all of this, well, not the most fun, but one of the things I like is that you can be messy. It doesn't matter. There's all this stuff that is clear. And if you don't like it, you can take it apart. Okay, so there's those three pieces. And now let's see what else we can add. I have some other texture. This is some packing. So I'm thinking add some of that. I like this tree image here, so I think I will just add it there. And I like to add pieces that repeat somewhere else. I'm not sure where yet. Just maybe just, hmm, you know, it could be like, like some bricks, whatever, you know, with the light. I just like to have things have something in common when I put them on here. So this has, you know, it, it can look like a part of a wall. And then this could look like part of the wall underneath this house, right? It adds texture. Whoops. <laughs> That's just a blue string. This is kind of crooked. Don't want it crooked. Don't want it crooked. Yeah. Great. Hmm. This is going to give us some more depth. Let's push that house back. Brings this light forward. Pushes these things way back. I, I'm really into horizontals these days. Really have been for a while. And it hasn't changed yet. Could be vertical just for fun, just for fun. See what happens. Well, what happens is I need more verticals. Well, in the meantime, I decided while I was looking at this to add some more, this branch-like looking tissue. So we rip this off and do one here. Did I see a kitty come in? Hi, Jay. Oh, JJ just came in. Let me show him to you. There he is. He's in the window. Hi, JJ. What you doing, JJ? What? What? <laughs> okay, back to work. And I think I could put up here. Let's just do a little piece. This stuff doesn't like to behave until it's wet. So this will become part of the background. I just want some texture. So now I'm gonna put it up and I'm gonna look at it through my mirror. <laughs> and it's looking okay. Now I'm gonna look through my red tray. Well, we still have a lot of wet. So white now, this looks light and this looks light. But really the only lights other than that are here and here and here, all those pieces I attached. Can you see? Here. At all. Okay, so I will be back after doing some more investigating for things that have to do with home. So I'm back and I have done a little work on this. Just want to point out what I've added right here is a man with an old Kodak camera. Down here is a hand holding a watch showing that time is passing. That's how I interpret it. Over here, I have some cows in front of that little fence I put there. And this is kind of tying together for me, the country working hard and, you know, things weren't so easy. And then I added a church and this other house is pushed back further. Really happy with the way the images are building. Layer upon layer upon layer. Things in the background, things in the foreground. Time is passing, life is changing life. It was home and I guess it still is home because I do have the images of the homes. Maybe time passing in our life 
while we're home. No place like home. Home is where the heart is. Our life starts from home. Maybe something like that. I have a little Mary Anglebright thing. Let me go find it. Oh, it's a T.S. Eliot quote. It says, home is where one starts from. And then it says T.S. Eliot. I love her stuff. I've had this magnet on my refrigerator forever. It's all faded, but I love it. I do like the idea of that. Home is where one starts from. Maybe I'll use that quote on here. Oh, I have to tell you guys. You know how much I love these, right? Well, I looked them up online and they go for like $7 each. But I don't want to spend $7 for one color of a paint dauber. I've kind of spoiled myself using them. I mean, you saw I can use a sponge just as well with acrylic paint, but to put these in my RV would be so great. And turns out I won, are you ready? Including the shipping, the tax, I am getting 10 colors still in the wrappers, 10 of these all different colors for $30. So that's $3 each. I feel like I have found another great bargain and I'm gonna be taking those with me in my RV. I'm so thrilled. So let's continue with this. And there's something I'm thinking of adding that might make it more colorful. Confetti, pink confetti. Ooh, confetti and my torn faux posted bills. So I'm thinking, do I want to add some of my faux posted bills to this? Do I want to add any? It does take it a totally different direction. <laughs> they may just be a little too graphic for this, but then look at this one. Interesting now. It's books, tapes, and books. Maybe just some books. I'm going to keep that in mind. And let's just see what else we have here. Hmm. Just the colors, you know, could be interesting. But I don't know. I think it might just be too graphic for this. So I think I may just save those for another project. Same with my confetti. I just don't know if that blast of color is really what I want. I don't think so. I think the mood is nicer. So let's just get rid of those and keep working. I have some sprays. Really blue. I wonder if that one works. I think we should use something else to put the color on first. Ooh, look at that. Oh, that is amazing. You gotta be brave or you know what? What's the point? That might've been a little too much. Move some of that or maybe a spray of water. Oh my, it does add some brilliance though, doesn't it? Holy moly. Let's see. Boo boo, boo boo. I'm not quite sure I wanted that much blue. I think it does draw draw some attention to this gentleman over here. I really like it back there. Not so thrilled with it up here though. Hmm. Do you hear that pull off? <laughs> Whoa. This is the thing. You have to play. Every time I play with something, I learn. Okay, so I do like these tree shapes and colors here. And green here. They could put some green in here. And this is up front, so we can take more color. I could take a paper towel, lay it right here, and just get green up in there. Not exactly where I was planning on this thing going, but that's where it's going. So let's see what happens next. I may use this gold one later with the watch. I think that might be very cool. And the lamp. Oh, don't disappear, little cows. Up here we have that house that you can't really see too much right now. So let's kind of try to bring that back a little more. And I love this house too. Okay, so the gold, <laughs> rub it with our fingers up here some through here into the city and maybe some down here. Interesting. Yeah, I just used some of this Glimmer Mist and the color is Brass Bell. Our images are getting kind of hard to see. So what I want to do is I'm going to start adding some color and contrast in the areas of the things that I really want to notice. Houses. I want to notice I want to notice 
the lamp. And I have to say, these are not vintage images, okay? They do look vintage, but it's because of the magazine's stories that were about the past. For instance, this gentleman was from a story about Kodak. The one magazine that was vintage is the one I used for the underpants, where I put in music, sheets, and things like that. What do we need as if we're looking through a window into the past? We could look through a window, a looking glass, a frame, a mist. So I wanna put in something that shows that we're looking back through time. So far I have the watch. I do have this misty looking stuff and I'm wondering if I need to actually add any kind of letters or words. Some stenciling. I think I'm just gonna put the E right here and I'm going to use some molding paste. This is Golden's Light Molding Paste. And I've used this before. Just gonna take some on my palette knife and I'm just gonna put that through the stencil. And you know, you don't even have to have the whole letter. You could just do part of it. I think I need to go and look for some other stencils. What is this? Oh, this is interesting. These are buildings. It's so funny how you find them. These are just little buildings that I had cut out of a cereal box with my old Cricut. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? This is terrible, but I just ripped it and I'm gonna add Ooh, this right there. You just don't want to put things right in the center all the time. But I think this might be a good spot for one. I need gel medium. It's thick. So I'm going to use that to attach this. This will dry clear. I love it. I might be, I might be too. Let's just rip off some of the bottom. Are you still with me? <laughs> it kind of ties the houses together from the background to the foreground. I like it. Let's see if we put a curly, smoky kind of image. Kind of sloppy, but that's okay. I think I like it. Looks kind of lacy. So now I'm going to get a baby, another baby bag. And I'm my tools off. You use this kind of stuff. If you don't want to bother cleaning them like this right off, just keep a bucket of water near you or a bowl of water, a pan of water, and just put them in there until you're ready to clean them off. Or they'll get all hardened and ruined. So I'm kind of liking this now. I feel like we need something down here. I'm liking it. 